Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. So this is the last in a series of videos on the Acer Predator Helios 300, the 2020 version. So this one is about the software that comes with it. So I'm going to give you some stuff you probably don't know, even if you've been using it for a while. There are some really great features that are kind of hidden away. So unless you're exploring and know what to do with it, um, you won't know how to use it. So this is going to help you out. At least I hope it'll help you out. So let's have a look. So another device you have in your computer is called Trust ID. Now this is a new software that's coming out and it works with Microsoft to use your phone to secure your device. As you can see, I've already paired mine, which is a Galaxy S8. And when I'm within one meter of my device, it will let me unlock it. So basically you have to go to your download go trust id okay now there are scan qr codes but that did not work for me so i would say just go to the uh, google play store download the app have this open and then they will start to pair once they do that then you can um, set it up and then when you lock your screen this will um, as long as your phone's within a meter when you act bring it back and unlock it it'll just open you won't have to type in anything, no passwords, no nothing. And you can still lock it with the uh, Windows L key, just in case anybody didn't know that. So phone as a security is another one. You can make your phone your security key. So that's another application. I'm choosing not to do that right now. And of course, About Us just tells you what it is. And there's a quick user tutorial as well to help you out. So that's a really great device so something to consider uh, actually i find it pretty handy i just set it up myself i didn't even know it was there so i do uh, suggest that that's a good way to go so one of the uh, programs that's on here that you may not know about is intel Optane memory and storage management it's going to give you some interesting features so it's going to allow you to manage your storage your sata like i have three of them in there so it's going to let me do that i can create a raid volume whether it be PCIe or SATA, gives you all the different options. So if you're familiar with that, you can go in and do that. I don't don't play with it if you're not familiar with it, because you could screw things up and cause it not to work. Okay, so there's nothing set up here. So performance link power management is enabled. That's the default. So you can configure your power and performance settings. And you can go into your settings. You can change your settings. Uh, what's what's new window is enabled and automatic rebuild on hot plug dis disabled and of course it says automatic rebuild and hot plug supports allows you to automatically start and rebuild process of a degraded volume okay so by not hot plugging a compatible disk in the same location as a failed or missing disk array okay so the warning of course is any existing data on the hot plug disk will be permanently deleted so as soon as you start the migration process, make sure you've backed up your data before you start that process. And of course, there's about which tells you about all kinds of different things. So it's just something to be aware of. And of course, the next one, again, same spot, go down to where it says Intel Graphics Command Center. Go in and have a look. You might be surprised what's in there. I was. Um, so you go in here. And it walks you through auto detect for games manually select the game and add and down here you've got how to set your display so for some reason you weren't displaying in the 144 you can you can switch it to 60 if you prefer that but if you're in 60 and you want to go to 144 it'll allow you to select that okay your drop down resolution if you want to lower it you can do that in here um, you can maintain display scaling. Now that's the uh, default. Now this is also for setting up other monitors. So it's uh, something to be aware of. So you can check on your color for your brightness, your RGB settings, your contrast, everything like that. So it gives you a lot of control to make sure everything's working right. And of course it has information. Okay, so of course it says 4K display. Your display is not a 4 capable high definition display, which of course we knew. But if it was plugged into one, then this might be a different message. Okay, 
tells you the supported mode, so you can do 60 or 144, as I mentioned earlier, and your display port. This gives you general information on what you've got. So then you get down here. Okay, so if your OS supports it, you'd be able to change how your video is displayed. So you can do HDR videos, all that kind of good stuff. And you can go in here and just see how it looks. Change the brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness. You can see them all here. Film mode detection. Okay, just really allows you to uh, change that. Now, don't change it if you don't know what you're changing, or you could really mess things up. All right, so you can go here. So it gives you hotkeys uh, for setting the rotation of your display and your drivers. So we tell you if your Intel drivers, what you're using, and for your RTX 2070 Max U design, tells you all about that. Okay, some more information on your hardware for what is inside and your power settings. So you can set them all in here. You don't even have to go into Windows settings at all. So right now it's in balanced mode. If I want to change that, I can do maximum performance, maximum battery. Okay, maximum battery if you're off uh, somewhere and you're not plugged in, might be a good choice. Okay, power efficiency or enhanced power savings. Okay, just move it on. Okay, so this is system diagnosis. If you want to do that, you can open up your system settings from there. You can check on your license, which gives you different online resources. So you can download your graphics drivers, download your graphics drivers for the latest Intel graphics driver. And of course, you get the other ones from uh, NVIDIA. And of course, your preferences. So just gives you preferences for your themes, uh, if you want to show your games, notifications if you want them on or off, promotions from game developers, and system tray. Leave it open for faster lowering. All right, so just all good things to be aware of. So the software is pretty well loaded. It's Predator Sense. Okay, so on our home screen here, we have our CPU temperature. Our graphics card when it's running right now, I think it's probably using the integrated. It does switch back and forth. I've done a test to verify that. And our system temperature setting at 46, which seems to be pretty good. So fans are up here are auto. You can set them to max for more cooling and you can custom set it in here. And so you can go here. The first one they give you uh, is called Planet Side. So it's a game that you could play. It's free to play, so it's just an added feature. This one here is if you want to create your own boot logo. So you can go in here, you can have your own picture. It's a JPEG. So 35 megabyte is about the size. And if you had a picture here, you could browse to it and you could put that in there, or you can just go with the default. So when you boot up, you'll either see this one or whatever you choose to prefer. All right, so the next one over is setting up your sound. So you can have different sound settings depending on whether you're playing a game or shooter, music, whatever it might happen to be. And it uses Acer's True Harmony. I do find the sound in this particular version is quite good. Um, it's not ideal for maybe audio files or something like that, but it works pretty darn well. So moving over is of course our settings. So you can do your system boot animation. So if you want to add sound and different things, different effects, your LCD overdrive, your temperature, if you don't want it in Celsius, you can set it to Fahrenheit. And your keyboard uh, will turn itself off after 30 seconds. So if you don't want to see the colors all the time, you can just turn it off or turn it on. Uh, basically what it means, like I've got it off, so that means it doesn't turn off. So, because I want to see the colors of the keyboard. But if I didn't want to see any more, I turn this on, and after 30 seconds, it's not there. Sticky keys. Sticky keys is basically, you turn it off, so if you hold this particular key for more than, I think it's like 5 seconds or 15 seconds, whatever that happens to be, uh, it pops up this little menu, and it's quite annoying. So having the ability to just go up here and turn that off is kind of nice. And of course, your Windows and Menu key, you can have it on or off. And so we'll go down to our lighting. So this is where you can set your default or you can do profile managers for 
whatever, however you want to set it. You got static, dynamic, which means it's like breathing, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, you can set your brightness level. And each different zone, you can go down here and choose the color. Or if you don't want it, you can just simply click and turn them each off. So these can all be set individually. So we get to our overclocking, which I have mentioned in a previous video. You have normal, fast, and extreme. And they have different settings depending on which one you want. So, of course, like I say, fast goes to here. So is the max. And your extreme is fallout. So down the road, if I find that I need to use that, I can. But I'm just going to keep it at normal for now. So our fan control, you can see it's running at the RPM. So around 2054, sometimes it ramps up a little bit. And our graphics card is running at 2000 RPM. So trying to keep it nice and cool. So it's the same as it was before that in the home screen where you set your auto, max, or your custom settings. And cool boost right now is off. And if you turn it on, it provides an extra bit of cooling. So if you click here, it says if cool boost is on, it increases the maximum fan speed and enabling faster fan speeds during heavy use. So keep that in mind. Right now, the default is that it's off. So if you want to do heavy gaming, go up there and turn that on. Just remember to turn it off after or just leave it on all the time if you want. So over here we have Aeroblade 3D fan. That's just basically telling you about the fans. So if you click on that, it'll take you in here and it tells you about the fans. It tells you all about them, cooling built-in performance, how the fans work to dissipate the heat. All right, all that kind of good stuff. Maximum airflow. It explains all how that all works. All right, so if we go to our monitoring. Our CPU and GPU are running. GPU well, sometimes if there's nothing going on, so it does say our GeForce RTX 2070 with Max-Q design. Uh, when we're running it, it'll give us more information down here. Right now, it's not doing that, except for CPU running at 63 degrees, 10% is our low. System settings is system is setting at 48 degrees, and our RAM is 32 mega, 3200 megahertz, and our download and upload speeds, which it actually changes depending on how you use it. You have your game sync, so you can add different games in here. So I've got Doom. I have uh, I have in here, I have Tomb Raider. And you can you can add more, just by going down here. Or if you don't want it there anymore, you just go up here and delete it. Or you can edit it, depending on what you want to do. The App Center is all the different apps that come with it, all their different softwares. And of course, you can go in and you can tweak your sound comes with XSplit, so if you want to use that to do live streaming and such. Uh, your NVIDIA GeForce Experience, if you want to go in here and upload drivers, that kind of good stuff. It has your killer control for your Ethernet and Wi-Fi. So you can go in here, if I double click it, it comes up here, and it will give you recommendations up here. If you click on it, it'll tell you, okay, for optimal settings, tells you what it's running at, okay, all that kind of good stuff. And you can set your bandwidth uh, and everything like that. Now, I have this enabled so that when I'm playing a game, this will come on and it enables it to run a little bit better. Okay, so we also have our Acer collection. Power Director, which comes with it. Now, I'm using a more advanced version, but that is a very nice feature. So, let's go to our Acer collection. And here it gives you Creative Cloud at 20% off. Now you have to buy these. Your Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is for your uh, rendering of videos and such. So for $1.29. So this, this gives you different uh, things to choose from. All right, different software that it offers you for free to free or you can purchase. Okay. Down here we have our tools that you can purchase as well. System mechanic to speed up the PC and do uh, maintenance. And it comes with Photoshop, Adobe Acrobat, and the Privacy Guardian. And this is the game planet that you can play for free. And it just has all kinds of extra features. So you can do iTunes, Netflix, Spotify, all this kind of good stuff. So that's pretty handy actually. So let's go back to the App Center. 
and let's go to the app management so in here you'll be able to go you can go see all your software you put on and if you have one that you just don't like or you want to take off well you can go ahead and you can just click it over here and then you'll be able to uninstall it so that is predator sense that's all there is to it all right everybody so that's pretty much it for the video not much just a little bit of software some of them are really interesting the uh, trust id is very handy uh, i like that you've got it in lockdown mode and instead of typing in your password because maybe you forget it or, or or if you've gone to a pin that's another good way to go but this is just another added security measure that you can put to protect your computer from being broken into and if you do that security key it will also add another layer of security on top of that to prevent people getting into your computer and gaining your data so that in itself is pretty important the other software is pretty easy to figure out for the most part if you know it's there so if you like the video hit the like if you don't you know what to do if you're new here think about subscribing and hit that bell for future notifications so you can see other videos as they come up got some good stuff coming no more predator stuff unless of course there's something specific you want to see let me know i'll see what i can do um for some of the models there are uh, there's an app to let you remote control your uh, laptop as well my specific model does not have that but a lot of them do so it's just something to be aware of all right till next time